Kano APC has called for my arrest over corruption allegation against former commissioner, US-born Nigerian filmmaker, cries out. Hello guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for tuning in to listen. I do really appreciate. And if you're just joining us for the very first time, hello, you're also welcome. Please don't forget to always feel free to drop your comment with us in the comment section and also like, share our videos. Thank you. A U.S. Kano indigen who is a journalist and a filmmaker, Bello Galadici, has raised an alarm accusing the Kano State Chapter of All Progressive Congress, APC, of calling for his arrest for accusing the former commissioner of local government affairs in the state, Motola Sule Garo, of corruption. Galadici, in a video posted on his S account in which he speaks Aosa language, said that rather than coming out clean, to call for his arrest for exposing the former commissioner's alleged corruption, the APC is calling for his arrest for inciting violence. The reason for this arrest, according to the government, he made before now he has been making series of videos posting on his S account exposing the government officials. And there is this particular video trending on social media. They said that it's making the Northerners to go crazy, where he exposed Tunubu and his family concerning the fuel hike and price and all of that. Kano APC is calling for my arrest, he wrote. In the video, he said, the APC in Kano has called for his arrest for inciting violence. He said, but what APC did in Kano State was stealing high-level theft. In this video, he made a lot of accusations with um, evidence of payment and all of that. Although he was speaking outside, he translated everything in English. This guy, I find out that is really a pain in the axe. I don't know, but he always have evidence to back whatever he's saying. So the APC government believe that with all this his analysis that he has been giving out through his S account, that is the reason why the Northerners during this protest became so, so mad that they damned the consequence. They were really out. And in one of my videos, I was like, I don't know. It's like the Northerners, they are really taking this protest too far. And from what I saw from the video, with all those evidence and everything, <laughs> it reached for somebody to go to what? I'm going to leave the video for you guys to watch. You will see the guys giving everything in details with evidence. And guys, these people, eh, they really hold this country to ransom. From his analysis, you'll find out that Nigeria already has been kidnapped by some set of individuals. It's just only God that will rescue Nigeria. If not, all these their protests or whatever is not going to help out. Because these people, they are wicked. They are heartless. You find out the money that they are supposed to use to develop the country, they are just taking it to somewhere... Just for the money to be sleeping, not doing anything. And the country every day keeps sinking. They keep borrowing money. So I'm going to leave the video with you guys. Like I said, just take your time to go through this translation. You'll find out the reason why this guy is really a pain in the axe in the hand of the APC members. And from the way I say and myself, this one go even do passing and the canon. Because it's not only focusing on other region, it's still they focus on his own people, even from the same Kano state, it's still exposing every one of them. So guys, please feel free to drop your comment with us in the comment section. I would like to hear your thoughts. Thank you very much for stopping by. <laughs> Nakana <laughs> Sana su tura wa wan kampani me suna next vision da ke barnan maka. Na dauka barnan maka waje ne na addini. 
amma APC Kano samai da wannan birni mai tsarki wajen kai kudin sata kan fa nan next vision kadarori yake sirwa kuma a hankali da kadan da kadan dan kar a gane kuradin sata ne sai da murtar la APC na Kano ya ringa tura naira biliyan 10 cikin asusin kamfanin next na wani biliyan 10 biliyan 1 shine miliyan 2 saboda haka biliyan 10 shine miliyan 2 sau 10 da wannan biliyan 10 za a iya sayen buhun shinkafa 130 ta iya gina sabon makarantu primary guda 50 akan kowane gurare naira miliyan 200 wannan kudi zai biya wa mutane 105 kudin asibiti hannun naira 120 kowane mutum daya amma mai martalan APC Kano yayi da wadannan kudade ya sayi wani bangaren daya daga cikin shaharun hotel na duniya wato Hilton a birnin Makka inda zai ringa sauka kuma ya bayar haya daga cikin hotel din kana hango masallacin Kaaba inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun to wannan ma commissioner APC Kano kenan na kana na hukumomi a cikin commissioner da yawa da suka yi da kuma shi gwamnatin sahibin zurma ga daloli a cikin aljihu da mutum mai a yanzu kuna kira a kama ni shuwayya shuwayya APC ne shan jar Kano ta fitar da sanarwa wai baron fa yace muku tulun bude iyalan shi ne suka mallaka me yasa man fitar kisa a da a Nigeria baron fa yace muku tulun bude iyalan shi ne suka mallaki kamfanin mafanin mai na ajib a Nigeria ba wanda shi kuma mallakin rijiyoyi mai ne guda 17 kuma yana hako garwan mai miliyan 11 a kowace shekara saboda haka yanzu rijiyoyi man nan mallakar iyalan tulun bude bayan an hako danyen mai sai ta ciwa domin cire fitar dazal da sauran su me muku a ta ce ma a Nigeria a a sai aka zabi kasar Malta wanda ko rabin Lagos bai kai a girma ba ga tambaya me yasa kasa kamar Nigeria ba ta iya tace mai ba amma kasar da ko rabin Lagos ba ta kai girma ba za ta iya tace min da mutanen Nigeria su dogara a kai a shekaru 2011 babban kamfanin mai na Malta Enemed ya rattaba hannu akan takardun ba da aran masa na antunta na sarrafa mai da ajiyewa zuwa ga kamfanin Ras Hanzar suwa ya suka mallaki kamfanin Ras Hanzar iyalan Tulumbu a karkashin jagorancin Wale Tulumbu da taimakon Ade Wale Tulumbu Junior Wale tare da iyalan Tulumbu sune kuma suke shugabancin kamfanin Owando wanda na baku labari tun farko yau wato barin musawoka bayanan iyalan Tulumbu sun mallaki kamfanin Owando wanda yake rijiyoyin mai na Ajib yanzu kuma ya karba aran kamfanin sarrafa mai a Malta da sunan Ras Hanzar to idan ba ku rude ba yan zaka Ras Hanzar mallakar iyalan Tulumbu ya kafa matatar mai a Malta sannan kuma ya sai kamfanin sarrafa mai da Ajimin da ya karba aro a shekara 2021 saboda haka yanzu suna da rijiyoyin mai kamfanin ta ce mai kamfanin sarrafa mai da wuraren aje ta cicin mai saura shugo da mai ne kawai ya rage Nigeria saboda haka tunubu na zama shugaban kasa abin da ya fara yi shi ne cire tallafin man fitar saboda arzikin shi ya karu kuma duk da haka akwai tallafin da yake biya a boye daga asusin kasa zuwa nashi aljihun kamun ya ida cire tallafin baki daya ya zama daga aljihun ku ne yake zuwa nashi aljihun ya hako ya sayarwa da kanshi ya kai Malta ya sarrafa sannan ya dawo kuma ya sayar muku kuma ya dabi kuri daga asusin kasa ya biya kanshi tallafin man fitar ga kuma alaka wannan zalucin da farashin dala Nigeria tana samun dala ne idan ta sayar da danyen mai ga kasashen waje to in ta sayar da man sai ta dibo wannan dalolin ta dawo da su gida kun ga za a samu wurata dala farashin dala zai kasa amma me yasa ba a samu wurata dala a Nigeria saboda idan an sayar da danyen man ana amfani da dalolin ne a siyuta ta cin mai da kasar waje yanzu mafi akasari daga kasar Malta da wajen sama da dala biliyan 2 a shekara ta 2023 ka cal wannan zai san Najeriya ba ta da isa sun dalolin da za ta kawo gida ta sayar da marin da zai kara farashin dala to sai dai waye a halin yanzu yake da isa sun daloli da zai iya dawa gida ya sayar a farashi mai yawa tulumbu da iyalan sa kai kuma dan wata da karambari sai ka gina matatan man da yafi kowanne girma a duk fadin duniya ko ka san me haka zai jawo farashin mai a cikin Najeriya da farashin dala 